Hey, it's Anya from Anya Marta Art. Today I wanted to show you how I make a gingham pattern in Photoshop. It's a very simple classic pattern where you have horizontal and vertical lines crossing. You also have a little bit of a white, so it's super easy to make and I have try to make it in Procreate on my tablet before but I have to say it does give me a little bit of a headache because it doesn't align right even I have snipping snapping snipping on and it's just when I export it, it has a funny little shadow I don't know it just doesn't work so back again I'm here in Photoshop my good old trusted software which is my favorite for surface pattern design so you could probably very easily make it in Illustrator or Affinity Designer, but for such a simple pattern, you can also make it in Photoshop. Principle is the same, so hopefully you'll find it useful. First of all, new document. We're going to create a size. So the size I go for is with Spoonflower print on demand platform in mind. What I do is start from the largest size, uh, for wallpaper which is 24 inches at 150 dpi and then i save it smaller and smaller into 12 inches and into 4 inches it's up to you what sizes you go for but i found like these ones kind of work for me so let's choose inches and 24 by 24 and then a resolution i'll keep 300 I'll change that later into 150, which is the one you submit for Spoonflower. If you submit it up to 300, it will kind of be double the size. So create, and now we have the square here. What we have to do is make sure that you have your snapping turned on here. It ticks under view, snap, view, guides, new guide layout. It gives us a nice easy option. You don't have to move everything. It will automatically do it for you. So the way I like to do is two by two because it's gonna give us the four squares and press OK. Now we're going to choose the square here for Earth from the rectangle tool. And if you press it on the middle of the screen, just pop it, uh, change it into inches. It's quite easy to calculate. We only need 12 by 12 inches and okay so that created um, the square for us so now we just need to drag that square into corner here and once you see those pink guides activating i did deactivate now they change into that green when they fit right into the right spot they are pink what we have to do now is duplicate so we have four of those squares so what you can do is either Control j which is a shortcut or right click and duplicate layer right here and it does the same thing it's just shortcut makes it quicker so we're just going to take our move tool and drag it nice and easy Make sure it is kind of on the pink. And then one more dragging from that corner. Now we have all of them in the right place. Uh, it's time to decide on the colors. So you're going to have to have one darker here or different colors. And that's how Gingham works. So you have kind of light version, light, light, dark and white or something similar to white. So let's try, first of all, fill up that white. And I have my swatches here. And this is the white off-white off color I like to use instead of white. And again, the choice is completely yours. Uh, top left is going to be one of the darker ones. And let's go for kind of pink. And those two, this one, lighter pink. And this one again lighter pink so we're going into view guides clear guides now you can see we can actually zoom in really really close really close into the pixel uh, level and you can see they are perfectly aligned there's no problem here which is great because like i said the 
Procreate was creating some weird situation there. So at this point, you could save this as PSD document and have that as your template. So if you want to use different color combination, come back here, just fill the squares with different colors and you can just make endless amount of gingham pattern for the rest of your life. And then if you just want to be done with this one, just press layer, flatten. And now for spoon flower, I will go to image, image size, and I would change I'll leave that 24 and change a resolution 150 okay and this is the size the large size for my wallpaper in spoon flower if i want a smaller one i'll go image image size and then i'll change 12 inches and okay and save that and then the last one will be four inches you can even save one inch which is perfect for like a little doll houses or a very very tiny pattern it really depends what use it's going to have okay so test this pattern is very simple we just need to select it all and then edit define pattern file new let's make a nice big image six by six thousand pixels create and let's create with the rectangle tool now click on the layers here and pattern overlay. This is the one we chose. Just double click on it and you can see it repeats without any issues. You can change the scale and see up close. And make it smaller. You can also move it around here. Uh, and if you're not sure, just snap to origin and it will bring it to the original size you design it for. And OK, and this is your pattern ready. So if you want to save it up, remember to save this tile, not this preview, because that's not going to repeat exactly. This is going to repeat. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And let me know if you have any questions about this or if you have any suggestions what other videos you would like to see and i'll see you in the next video take care bye